I never know how to start videos. I just feel so awkward. Hi! Welcome back to my channel and my videos. I'm going to show you how I contour and highlight my face. I use cream and powder products in this video. When I am going out on a night out or somewhere special, I will contour using cream and powder. Day to day, I will just use the same routine but without the cream. So it's totally up to you which way you want to do it. This video has been requested quite a few times. So I hope you enjoy it and I hope you can learn something because contouring and highlighting is so popular at the minute and I do love it. It completely changes your face and you can go from looking a zero to a strong eight. <laughs> that sounds so vain. But yeah, thank you very much for watching. Please like the video and subscribe to see more and I shall see you soon. Thank you. Bye. Hi guys. So I'm starting out today with all of my makeup done. On my face though, I just have my foundation on and we're gonna go in and highlight and contour. I'm starting out with my concealer. This is my Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. You wanna go in with a concealer that's about two or three shades lighter than your skin tone and is quite a creamy liquid. You're gonna start by putting it in a triangle shape underneath your eyes on both sides, along your chin, your cupid's bow, a tiny bit on your forehead, and also down the center of your nose if you want to slim down your nose. You should end up looking something like this. I'm now taking my Miracle Complexion Sponge by Real Techniques. I use this damp and I'm going to start by pressing this into the skin. You don't want to be moving the product around too much. You do kind of want to keep it in exactly the same place as where you've placed it. But pattern motions work really well with this product. You want to keep on going over that until you're happy with how flawless it looks and also that there's no harsh edges. You are going to look really pale at this point but don't worry as we're going to go back in and the contour will add all the colour back to our skin. I'm using MAC Match Master Concealer in the shade 8 to contour with. I'm putting it along my cheekbones. the sides of my forehead where my temples are also a little bit on my forehead I'm going to put it underneath the lip and also along the jawline and then you should look like you're ready to go in for a facelift I'm taking my brush that I use for foundation and I'm going to start by buffing this into the skin. I don't want to move this around too much, exactly like the highlight, but when you're blending it, you want to make sure that you're blending it up as opposed to down, as contouring is about harsh lines basically. Not necessarily harsh, but the straight lines which create the shadows on your face. So make sure you blend it up and not down. Take as much time as you need to blend this in. As you can see, I've really spread it up as I did spend quite a bit of time making sure that it was all flawless. And then I've gone back in with the sponge just to make sure that all the lines have gone. As you can see, it's added a bit more definition to the face as what was there before. Now I contour my nose as I really don't like my nose and it isn't straight, so I try and make it as straight as possible. If you're happy with how your nose looks, then you really don't need to do this, it's completely optional. At this point I really thought it was funny how it looked but you know and then taking that sponge and pressing that into the skin exactly how we've done it before but obviously this is a smaller space to work with so you just need to be a bit careful I blended it a bit too much so I'm going to go back in with a concealer just a tiny bit down the center just to add the light back there this is how you should be looking at this stage and now I'm setting the highlighting concealer with just a translucent powder and a wedge sponge this concealer is quite creamy and as most concealers are so you want to make sure that you're setting it really well as otherwise it will slip and slide all over your face 
and then I'm just going to take any powder brush that you've got and basically buff it all away. This is my highlighter. This is Mac Soft and Gentle on just an eyeshadow blending brush and I'm going to put it on the tops of my cheekbones. I'm also going to put a bit down on my cupid's bow and also the tip of my nose. This is the Zoeva paintbrush, it's the perfect shape for contouring. So I'm just going to go in with my MAC Medium Deep Bronzer. This is a matte bronzer, you don't want to use anything that's shimmery at all. And I'm basically going to set the contours where I just put that concealer. Then I'm just going to do down the sides of my nose, just setting that bit. Now at this point you could stop and you could go in with your blusher and you would be done. I like to be quite bronze so I'm going to go in with a darker bronzer which is Give Me Sun and on a larger brush this time and basically just use this as a normal bronzer and bronze up my face. Not necessarily contouring with it, just basically bronzing up. I say basically a lot, I'm really sorry, I'm going to stop. Just going to put a bit down the sides of my nose and under my lip, just to make it look like I've been to the Caribbean. Then this is the finished look that you should end up with. As you can see there's a lot more definition to the face at as to when we first started as foundation does take all the colour out of your face, your natural shadows etc. But I really hope you liked it and you learned something and I shall see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching.